Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to apply a grommet using our grommet uh, snap press machine. Uh, it's been a question uh, how to use the uh, dies on our grommet machine when it comes to grommets. Um, we used to have two type of dies right now they're all the one with spring loaded and the way the spring loaded works is that the water one goes on the bottom the one that has the uh, uh, no screw goes on the bottom and the one that has the screw goes on top and I'm sure you know these people that follow our YouTube channels and know regarding this uh, uh, type of press machine I have over uh, 1500 different type of dies for this machine and obviously grommet one of the first one that we introduced to the market now uh, it used to be that the grommet used to go on the bottom and the washer on top but three or four years ago we went ahead and we changed the idea now the grommet is coming from the top that's the male part and the washer on the bottom and the reason is that this grommet will be held by the upper die the upper die will hold the grommet so you don't have to hold the grommet let's get one thing out of the way each different type of closure snaps eyelet rivets needs their own dies even size you cannot use one die for different type of stuff if you buy a machine with one die then you could do only one thing. So today I got the most common size of grommet out, which is number three. I have different colors, colors doesn't matter. And the size is number three right here. The grommets have two parts, the male part, the grommet, and the washers, the flat part. And uh, the number two question that people ask me if they could use other companies grommets yes they could you could use any company's grommets snaps eyelet rivets as long as it's the standard size let's say this is number three which is 7 16th it could go buy grommets from anywhere and use it on our press machine i have two press machine here one i'm gonna attempt to make a hole and one I'm going to show you how to put the grommet on. There is another grommet uh, YouTube video that we have. Those are for the bigger grommets, curtain grommets, shower grommets. Those are done differently. The, the usual sizes from small tiny ones all the way to size 6. We now change the different of the die to the one with the spring loaded on top so you could put the grommet on top so here i'm going to go ahead and take the grommet and put it on the top clamp on just like that it will clamp down to the top and the washer goes on the bottom and you just go ahead and press i'm going to take it out and just show you how beautiful this is done inside outside it's just beautiful so i have a pretty heavy um this is what they use in bag making is a stiffener uh, they put in the bottom of the bag and the side of the bag to make the bag stiff and i have two different um thickness for this, I just, I'm going to use a number zero just to make a hole for you guys to see. And making a hole, easy. You see the hole right there? If sometimes you're not able to make a hole, again, use the upper die. Now, you could also use a scissor to make a hole, you know, and just fold and just cut. You made, I made a hole, you could go ahead and put your 
grum it through it if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the grommet on top, wash it on the bottom, and done. Look, inside, perfect. Very easy. Uh, for those of you that want to know, the size of our dies, the bottom die measures half an inch. The shank is half an inch. To be exact is um, half an inch exactly. That's the, the top is a screw on quarter of a quarter of quarter of an inch now the measure between here the bottom of the grommet press to the top is two and three quarter the measurement for the throat right here from the center of the lower die to the back here is three and a half okay and uh, you you could when you buy the machine you could either screw it down you don't need to screw it down uh, again there is many many different type of dies that we have but the most important part is that you cannot do grommet on the bottom wash on top grommet on the top again washer on the bottom okay make your hole again you could make the hole using one of these machines i just made a hole and if you don't want to buy extra die just go ahead and fold your whatever you have make a hole sometimes you don't even need to make a hole the, if your fabric is it's it's fine uh, you could just go ahead and you know uh, use it beside yeah beautifully done inside outside um, so you don't even have to make a hole sometimes sometimes you could just go ahead and uh, use the machine to put the grommet on and the grommet will as a matter of fact i'm going to try to see see something that can stiffen it right now do we have to make a hole or no we'll try we'll see it might work, it might not work. It, sometimes you have to make, for, for heavier stuff, webbing and stuff, and well, it went through it, but it still left some outside, you see? So, this is really heavy stuff. But as you could see, it went through it, but it still left some of the fabric in the bag it's always better to mark your product make a hole put the grommet grommet on top washer on the bottom i have many type of dies for this machine both our heavy one super heavy one the foot press the the foot press with the wood top and the double head all of them use the same style of dies if you buy dies you could use them for all those machines you also receive one of these in mail with your product that shows you how to do it very simple again this is david at goldstartool.com i want you to like our videos please be sure to like them and make a comment thank you so much for watching Visit our website goldstartool.com